I came to the United States. I was nine years old during the Peter Pan exodus. I lived without my parents in the U.S. for about five years. Uh, in those five years, I lived in a boarding school. My parents finally left Cuba. I was 14 years of age. Uh, I finished up at that point in time, started high school in Tampa, completed high school. Uh, my dreams were Major League Baseball, definitely not accounting. I actually answered an ad, it was uh, 1977, and I answered the ad. It took about 30 days, but they finally hired me for $13,500, $1,000 more, no, no, $14,500, $1,000 more. And uh, here I am after, I guess, 41 years uh, this year. Uh, we'll be here at MBAF. I think it really is a special place. We've been uh, best place to uh, best best place to work. I think it's the award by the South Florida Business Journal the last two years. Also, um, it's the people, the professionals, the, the the administrative people that work here that really make it special. The clients are important. Without them, we really wouldn't have the revenues. And it's a combination, but first, the people, they love working here, they love dealing with the clients, and second of all, is the clients that pay our services, and hopefully they're always satisfied that we're giving them the best that we can. Well, I mean, in our business, you have to either grow or deepen your bench. We've tried to do both because if we don't, and I said this years ago, if we don't really expand the four count, the three counties, and and we don't continue to expand, we're going to die. Uh, because I mean, we need to provide opportunity for people, let them grow with the firm, eventually have our next CEO. We're in a very tight economy. There's not many accountants out there. Uh, we've been helped through the years by setting up an India office with over a hundred people there. You also got to look ahead. Through AI, we're going to be able to audit 100% of transactions today. We can't do that. We do use uh, data mining and data analytics that really cover a large segment of the universe of the client's information, but it's still impossible. But through AI, we're going to be able to do that. Now, the Chamber is the center of business in Miami. It's an advocacy group. It's a center where all, all major businesses go to. Uh, I mean, you want to get involved in the committees. You want to get involved with the Chamber. It's a center of action. And not only do you want to live off a community and grow your business, but you need to give back. In the Chamber, it's a great way to make contacts, to meet business leaders. But at the same way, at the same time, it's a great way to give back to the community. I don't know if I accomplished what I wanted to do, but uh, it's still dragging the whole transportation. And I think in transportation, we just need to, like everything in business, you got to make mistakes in order to grow. So transportation was one of my main issues. And sea level rise, I don't think our community is doing enough. And, you know, hopefully it'll be at least the whole idea was not to get much done, but to bring it to the attention of the community. When I'm not at 1450 Brickle, which, uh, you know, limits the amount of time in the rest of the day that I have, you know, obviously I'm home with my wife Conchi, uh, and one of the greatest things in life is my three grandkids and spending time with them tonight. I'm going to the Yankees Marlins game. I mean, I love baseball and I still enjoy, I mean, getting involved with the Arch Center. Uh, I'm chairing the foundation there and that's exciting. These are some of the things that I like to do with my free time.